Jerd and welcome to my Biz Blitz video. Today I want to talk to you about the one mistake coaches make when they're talking to um, potential clients. What is that one mistake? I'm telling you, we go in too passionately, <laughs> too ex we get too excited. Someone says, oh, you know, I'm thinking about getting a coach and we just go into overdrive. So I wanted to give you a couple of steps just to pull you back a little bit. I'm not talking about losing your passion, but I'm, um, what we need to be is strategic about the conversations we're having with these potential clients because you don't want them to go, whoa, put their hands up and go, she's crazy, and off they go. So here's a couple of pointers. One, build rapport. If you've been trained in rapport, utilize your skills in building that rapport. Um, build a relationship, firstly. If they don't know, like, or trust you, you, you know, it's very difficult for them to say yes to you when they don't feel that rapport or that relationship with you. Secondly, every amazing coach asks amazing questions. Instead of just tell, 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 because we get excited, oh, I can do this, I can help you with that, blah, 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 blah. What we want to do is ask great questions. If we're asking great questions of this potential client, we'll really get uh, the feel of what their needs and wants are and whether we can help them uh, with our coaching. Thirdly, do not be salesy, yeah? And when we start getting excited, we can get real salesy. And what I mean by that is, if you're saying, you need to join my program, you need to join, you, uh, the program will be amazing, yeah? Always end your sentence with, would that be okay if I send you some information? Not, I will send you some information. So ask that question, would that be okay I'd like you to send, I'd like to send you some information. Would that be okay? Or how about we meet up and talk more about it later in the week? Would that be okay? And that just softens you from pushing your staff onto a potential client that may not want it or may not be ready. They're feeling their way. Yeah. Where if you're asking permission, then you're not doing anything that's overstepping the mark. Yeah. So they're my three pointers for today. One, uh, build rapport or a relationship with the potential client first. Two, ask amazing questions. And three, ask, is that okay? Don't be salesy people, yeah? You don't want to be one of those friends that everyone's avoiding because every time they see you, you're trying to sell them something. Yeah, they will come to you when they need your service or product. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed my video today. If you have and you want to learn more about building your coaching business and getting a high paying coaching clients attracted to you, please come along to my Grow Your Coaching Biz workshop. I will share with you all of the strategies you need and they're very simple to get people uh, coming to you naturally without having to be salesy and paying the price that is the value of what you want to achieve. So come along. I'd love to see you there. But if this uh, video has been of value today, please share it out with your friends, family and colleagues because I want to help as many people as I can and I'd love your help to do that. I'm Sharon Jurd and we'll talk soon.